fits up in there pretty nice. Should look good over there too. So that should work somewhere right up in there. Little metal screen I'm gonna build. Now it's time to fiberglass all that blue stuff up, all that blue tape. Give myself a nice little base to mount these rings to. Pop them out and then glass those and I should be in business. That one up there is gonna go up a little higher. It's just kind of sitting on the floor. As you might know, the sun flash works in about a minute once the sun touches the resin. So I backed it out into the sun. She had me some nice little forms here in about a minute or two. Alright, everything's glued into place. All right, so the mold's been taken off the floor. This. We'll just drop into place like it was meant to be because it's in the form of the floor. As you can see, just a little bit of trimming makes a big difference. All of a sudden, they're starting to take shape. Yeah. 
Now it's gotta stretch some fleece over the top. Get some more fiberglass in. And it'll really start looking like a pod. Ready for some resin, ready for some fiberglass, ready for some tunes soon. Alright, so I've only got two hands. And they had gloves on them and resin everywhere. So we just skipped to the part where these are soaking wet, they're out in the sun. They're already dry. All this ugly stuff on the back's even gonna get taken care of. That's just holding it in place until everything's dry. Just a little bit of chopped matte fiberglass for some strength, and these things are gonna be ready to grind down and sand. Time for a little body filler. These things are just about ready to go. Got these rings right here. Got some orange paint. Boy Jay from next door is gonna hook it up so we can get a little contrast on them. And as soon as the speakers get here, we'll be ready to go. What you think, man? Is the shit gonna look good or what? Yeah. Right on, right on. That's just one little coat. We'll be back for the second coat. I need one more, need two more. Yeah. All right, here's the deal. The Rockford T3s aren't gonna be here till Monday. And I was totally planning on making a video tonight and showing everybody the final results because it's almost done. So I'm trying to ride out this weekend, so I can't wait. I had a spare set of T5s sitting on the shelf. Now this thing has a set of T5s in it. 
And uh, it's only going to be till Monday. I'm putting the T3s back into it. Even though the T5s are better, I don't want to get any sand inside of them. So the T3s will be a little bit better for that. But check this out. Alright, this is just the rings without the grills. Dang, bummer this is inside of an ATV or I just leave them like that. Alright, time to put the grills on. Check back next week when I start the box. And oh yeah, I'm doing something a little bit cool of this. I've had these Rockford Fosgate I beams for years. I never really did anything with them until today. Check this out. Now keep in mind the wires ain't ran yet. They're just kind of there. I want to see if it was any good. And man, let me tell you, I don't even need a whooper. But I'm gonna put one in there anyways. You know that shit would not be official without one of these on it. Here we go. Yes, sir. <laughs> 